What is up, YouTube? This is Aaron with Goo Gaming again with another top eight from Chad. What, who do we have here? Eric Blackwell. And what did you do, Eric? I win. <laughs> I went X1 so my six cards with four stun and got fifth place at the Greenville Regional. Ooh, yeah. And I, that sounds like a war crime deck. Uh, before we get started here, do you have any shout outs you want to give? Shout out to the boy Aaron Levy for. Uh, for choosing this deck, shout out to the the um, Chattanooga squad. Hey, shout out Chad. If that's all we got, let's go ahead and get into this deck profile. We'll do the main deck first. Let's see what you got. So we're playing for the horse cards, three M City. We kind of have to. Uh, we're playing two Hoppy, two Llama Tef, and. And one Queb. Right, but it's not the uh, We're playing some more. Like, like, That's all I'm trying to prevent. Two of these names. <laughs> and <laughs> these cards get so much advantage. Very uh, interesting. Every turn, it's insane. A lot of gas in the deck, so you can't really run out of those Horus names because you got too many of them. Yep. And then we're playing <laughs> King Sark, three Wall, and Terraforming. Um, if you see this card, you basically win. You're probably winning the game. <laughs> and then in the walls, it's it's a pseudo King Sark, and it has a very good effect to put back this card ah. and, and add a horse name. And we, and we are playing the Rainbow Bridge package to add this weird card. Um, it, you can banish it and add a field spell and a crystal beast. And in one game, I banished this, added these two, and then went activate mausoleum and normal summon this and swing for game with it. That is insane. The amount of synergy that this deck has with just, just these little things is just actually wild. Getting to take your pick of the field spells and- It's a level eight for trade in. Trade in too, oh, goodness gracious. So weird. Love to see it. And then for the, uh, for the floodgate part, we're playing three ruler. I learned halfway through the tournament, if you normal summon this against a Snake Eye player, they can't interrupt you anymore because all their summoning. Everything is a summon. I mean, all their interruptions are summons. Exactly. IP. Ah, the boy. I summoned this one time. One time. It was very depressing. <laughs> I, summoned it, uh, I summoned it in round nine, game one, against Cash Tiro. He had to burn everything to Althus, and then he went to my turn. I summoned the four names, and then he was like, we'll go next turn. <laughs> and then the cards that actually win, win games, three skill drain, and three summon them. Hey, if I play a bigger monster than yours, and, and that's it, you know, we're not playing this game any longer. <laughs> Basically. The goal is to end on all four of your names and one of these. You will win that game. I respect that. And also you can... You, you summon larger monsters every turn, and it's just... If your two summons are going to be two Horus monsters, then... It snowballs yeah, ex so bad. Exactly. And then for the other good cards, we're playing three Fenrir. This card carried me throughout... Most of the event. Uh, it's a board breaker. It adds you a card for M City or King Sark. It's insane. Uh, we're also playing two Lava Golem. Uh, it's in the main to hit certain things. Um, also, you just hand him a Lava Golem. Over their board. Clean up voiceless pretty well, I'm sure. Yep, Sphere Mode is what, is what wins those. This wins it on game one. Playing one call by because we don't like Asher Droll. Oh, no. I didn't get Droll the entire regional somehow. That's crazy. <laughs> I only got Ash on Inseti like twice. Ah. Uh. And then for, and the for consistency, we're playing three trade in. Trade in, send a name, and then bring it back off walls is such a weird interaction that helped me break through a voiceless board. And then, as mentioned, we're playing Small World. Small World. Um, a weird thing is that this has 
24 attack and 24 defense. This has 24 attack. And this has 24 defense. Oh, man. So a Fenrir plus Small World, it can bridge you into any of your eights through these two. That's crazy. And that has won way more games than should have. And, and trade-in could basically pitch everything but Fenrir, which is crazy. Having the Lava Golem as the pitch, like, that's just... Yeah, yep. you could pitch anything on trade-in. I like that. Yeah, and then for the extra deck, playing the one Photon Lord. I made this almost every game. Uh, Hope Harbinger. Every game I won it, every game I made this, it was like a win more. Uh, Kim and Clutch. I only made this card twice, but... Every time it hit the field, the opponent was like, that's annoying. And then it stayed around much longer than it should have. Uh, we're also playing the one Sky Prison. Ooh. I made this card once against Snake Eye, activate the effect, it resolves, and he was like, ooh, next game. <laughs> so an, an immediate scoop, okay. Immediate scoop, basically. Like, they can't play the game. Uh, we're also playing our, I'm gonna make a big Zeus. Ooh, the bug. <laughs> uh, this won me the, uh, uh, the game three against Cash Tira. He, he had like a whole board. I had the field spell and two names. I made this in the battle phase, hit a Fenrir, went over this, and then made a Zeus. I wiped his field. He top deck. He normal summoned Rise Heart. I Zeus effect. And then I just I just killed him. Next Beautiful. Time. Beautiful. It was It was crazy. He unicorn ripped not Zeus, and I was like. We Mistakes. Uh, this card, very good. Yeah, that guy. He 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 just seems like the kind of something that pulls the level eights together in the deck. Yeah, I made it. Um, I made it once against against Branded, where I normal summoned Avani's ruler with Mausoleum, and then made this so it protected the Mirror Jade. Wipe, oh, protected from Mirror Jade wipe. That's crazy. Which was so clean. And Garunix. Wipes everything, except my forest monsters because they can't be destroyed. The, the rank eight toolbox these days is just insane. Just it's getting so to see all these cards together, it's crazy. Uh, Coach King, I never really made this because I don't want to get impermed, but I made it like once and burned 424. Oh wow! It was it was so clean. <laughs> That's bananas. <laughs> and then we're playing Typhon and Zeus. Uh, didn't make these a lot, but every time I did, it came in super clutch. It was relevant. And they were playing Lynx, Access Code, Salim, Dark, SP, IP. Um, I didn't really make these. I made this once to have Drew Swarm resolve. Um, gotcha. I was I was under my own floodgates a lot, so I never really made these. Uh, but they're good in theory. Makes sense. And then for the side deck, we're playing the third Lava Golem. And the best card in the game, right here. The chicken nugget. I gave this every day. I just, every game, the entire day, I was looking at my opponent. I was like, do your combo. Here you go. Enjoy. And then I usually kill them afterwards. Uh, we're playing the Bestials to not get, uh, to auto win our voiceless matchup, which is already pretty favorable. Yeah. Um, and to hit to Puppet because the only that, things, that's the only thing that's going to blow you out. The yeah. only things I'm not okay with is Puppet and Calamity. And if I can, if I can bestial one of the Centurion monsters they set, they usually cannot get to Calamity. Makes sense. And then for the rest, we're playing three Cosmic to hit Anti Spell because that card's scary. And also hits hit Stand Up and IP. I like it. And Fire King Island. Island. Couple of them. Uh, card I cited every time going first. Judgment. Interesting. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Evenly is annoying. Yeah, you're already playing the summon limit. You've got the skill drain, so you need something to, to protect it. I like it. Yeah. I like it. And they were also playing the one Tikaboo. I cited this in once against Kashtira and didn't even see it. I'm going to take this out for a second mausoleum to side in uh, to break a snake eye board. Oh, neat. Okay. But I need to, I need to cook with this deck a bit more. I like it. Yeah, that's well, that, the, that super solid list, man. We were excited to see more out of you. I knew, I knew you could do it. I'm so happy.
I'm so happy. But uh, no, th again, this is an awesome deck profile. It feels uh, disgusting to play. Yeah, <laughs> it is a war crime deck, but hey, well, we take wins where we can get them. Yep. But again, shout out to the Chattanooga community. Shout out Goo Gaming. Uh, thank you for coming on the channel, Eric. We appreciate you, and we will see you next time. See ya.